On the show, John Safran, Kettle and Iron Chef, James Curley, Ben Trucks. Now here's your host, David Lawson. show I have lined up for you guys today. I have performing here in the shed, twerps, playing a song for you! Playing a song for you! I have my very good friend, James Curley, doing a cooking segment here. You will be tasting it! You will be tasting it! Very good. It's very good. My first guest, he needs no introduction. He's one of Australia's favourite sons. He's no stranger to the shed show. Will you please put your hands together? But John Safran, oh, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. it's not you. It's not you. Sorry, mate. Why did you mark me out? Well, I, I, I wasn't sure if he, I wasn't sure if he'd turn up or not. So thank okay. you. Thank you. Hey, 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 Sorry, mate. That's, that's call that's Eric. Guest beer. That's for guests. I'm not calling Eric. Yeah, Is that really it? Hmm? Okay. I just wasn't Go sure. Ahead. John yeah. might not Thanks have turned again, up, mate. and then I okay. wouldn't have a. Sorry about that, John. You know, I know two of the guys from Twerps. Because I worked at the Carlisle Street video shop. And you watch a lot of video? Yes. That's great. So I'm pretty happy I didn't hire pornography, for instance. <laughs> yeah, because they'd, they'd be able to, like, dob me in. We during... download that. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> anyway. But they did, one of them, they are, you know how you're worried sometimes? Like, am I being self conscious and I'm being judged? They do judge. Because, like, I once went to hire. The practice, you know, that law show? Yes. And like, you know, I didn't love it or hate it. You know, I just wanted to, and they were like, they, if there was a sneer. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, they'll be performing here on the show and uh, you're going to have a word to them about this? For yeah, well, ever since like Quentin Tarantino had that story that he started off in the, you know, he's the cool video shop, suddenly every jerk behind the counter of a video shop thing thinks they can sneer at you, <laughs> if, you if you hire the practice. Now, John, thank you for joining me on the show. You first came to my attention and it would have been 1997, maybe, Race Around the World. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, Which isn't the amazing race. I, I find I constantly have to put the asterisks now for the kiddies. Like to go, oh, I wasn't like, because I don't want to be known as I was like on Amazing Race. Yeah, no, so, you're yeah, yeah. a completely different show. World, different show. So what, in Race Around the World, you had to, well, you raced around the world and you had to send Now it's back... still sounding like the Amazing Race. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> and you had to make documentaries from each city that you went to. Yes, 10 days in every and country. And then you had to send them home. And then there was like a panel of judges that would judge your documentary for making skills. You, you, didn't, you didn't edit them, you just sent back the... Codes or what you wanted them to do with your footage, is that right? Yeah, yeah, we had to like do a paper edit. Is this interesting? But you know, mm. like we, we had to like write, the, to write, the, write, the, write down the time codes on a piece of paper mm -hmm. and then send that with the tape in back to Australia. Now, I also want to talk about we've got you've got there's a lot of John Saffron DVDs I've got here. Unfortunately, uh, we don't have one for everyone in the audience. Wow. Mm. Mm. You can, but you can like. Tape it if you want. Like set up your cassette, you know, your Sony boombox and connect it to the thing and press record and yeah. All right, if everyone's got a VHS player at home, yeah, we can yeah. we can give them one of those. So this is this was the first one that came out after you did Race Around the World, not yes. the Amazing Race. You made John Saffron's Music Jamboree. And you're in it. <laughs> you played reenactment me. I played John Saffron. As a and he wanted to, he was worried I was too sensitive, which I am, so it was fair enough. But he kind of wanted to impersonate me and like really like do the lisp, right? And so, so he came up to me and he kind of like was worried he was going to get in trouble or something. So he came up to me and he explained, he goes, oh, John, I was just wondering. He goes, you know, sometimes when you do like a comedy portrayal, you kind of like really amp up and exaggerate things. So I was wondering, if it, is it okay if I just do a little lisp or whatever like that? Not that you have a lisp, John. <laughs> and so, like, <laughs> so yeah. But everyone liked it. It was a touching portrayal. But you, talk, you, you also told me that to impersonate you properly, you've got to oh, do the. Know. Yeah, you said do the. You do this a lot, and yeah, then you yeah. said so. Do the lift. Do it. 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 Do
<laughs> no, but you, you did say you said you got a thought of you know, and then you, <laughs> yeah, and then you go, you're like, what is music? <laughs> you know, and, and religion, you know. Me <laughs> I was, I'm friends with Kate Langbrook and she used to always just mock me to my face. I was like basing what I'd learnt from that. That's what I was passing on to you. Rob, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Father Bob. How is Father Bob? Uh, no, he's good. He's living in a hotel. For real. Oh, he's been booted out of his Yeah, because he was booted out of the church, but his next place isn't ready yet. So a bit like Nicolas Cage in Leaving Las Vegas, where he's just like... <laughs> There at the mini bar and stuff like that. And that's Father Bob at the moment. Because I, me I mentioned to a friend, I said John's coming on the show, and he said, "Oh, how is he?" But with you know, Father Bob, Father Bob dying. And I, 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 so I, I say, I don't think he's dying. He said, "No, I'm pretty sure Father oh, yeah, Bob no, died." That's one of those Twitter rumours, I guess. Right. And and so does this? No, is, he retired, is he retired from you? No, he's a, it's not like you get kicked out of the Catholic Church and then you get kicked out of Triple J. <laughs> it's not like the, the Archbishop rings up Richard Kingsmill or something like that. <laughs> so you're not looking for a new Father Bob? No, no, no. Father Bob's your Father Bob. Now, yes. let's talk about what do we got now? Race relations. This one's a bit racy. If I'm going to show the back cover there, that's, there's a picture there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's John dressed there. What are you dressed as? A, a lady boy. <laughs> Now the scene in this, you you dress as, and but you went through it. This is again you going through with it. You're not, yeah, you're not yeah. acting. You no. went on a date with yeah, yeah, some guy, and you know I was a lady boy. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, no, it's it was fine. I haven't watched that show really. Reenact, reenact the date. <laughs> yeah. 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 So you, you kissed, you kissed, let's... Oh, yeah, I kissed you. him. Yeah, I didn't, uh, like... But you probably kiss kissed him. Worst, <laughs> worst <laughs> things happen kiss, on that show. Kiss, 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 No, no, kiss, let's not do this again. Kiss, let's not do this again. Let's not, this, this is but the problem with this. But, but, you know, in the last few shows, you know, my guests have been heckled. Give them kiss! Kiss him. It's like in that Jodie Foster's The Accused, where they're sort of like, you know, they're around the, <laughs> the, the pinball machine and really egging it on and stuff. Well, yeah. I, I, it's be, it'd be too much like kissing me. So it'd be like weird seeing your reenactment me, yeah. So what I'd like to talk about now, um, get ready to applaud. John, you are working on a book. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be, um, can you imagine how respected? I'll be like, you know what I mean? Like people don't respect that as much, like a book. Imagine if I have a book. Yeah, I know. This is... Can you talk I'll about... Like it? Legitimate... Talk... No, I can't, I can't really kind of talk, like talk about it. Don't want to or can't? Well... I don't know. Like, I, it's based on. I, I spent five months in Mississippi last year, um, to cover, covering this event, and now I have to write it. Right. Yeah, and it's like it's not like one of these. Like I signed a contract and everything. Well, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm in trouble if I don't. I'll just hold this. That that there is a book. I'll just hold that up. <laughs> <laughs> so is, is it going to look similar to this? No, book? I'm getting a, a hardback edition with a. Oh, a thing. Oh, it's oh, like oh, a, But that's what an actual book looks like. Uh, yours is going to be a little bit different. Pitch review on the front, similar to that? No, I might just get a... Because I, I think if you, could, if you want a credible book, you just have a little black and white shot of you on the yeah, back. That's, yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> would, you, would you like to pick a... A passage. A passage from... It's not your book, it's a passage from oh, a book. pretty good. This is like lyrics to something. Melbourne Girl. After the flame, I wrote Melbourne Girl for the closing ceremony of the Manchester Commonwealth Games <laughs> to promote the 2006 Games in Melbourne. Vanessa Amorossi sang the song. Have you ever heard this song, oh, wow. Melbourne Girl? No. You can take the girl out of the town, but take a look at my face when all four seasons happen in a day. Like the biggest... Uh, do you reckon there's going to be a tram, a tram reference in here? I think I love this place. And what other... Do you reckon they will, they'll talk Yarra. about... The Botanical Yarra. Gardens? Yarra. Moomba? Birdman Rally. <laughs> what reminds me of Birdman Rally? <laughs> I, there must be a tram reference. Hackett, you're part of my life. You'll always be w with me forever. I'll always be a Melbourne girl. That was beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. actually after, after reading that, I, I do kind of want to kiss you. <laughs> I think we should do it. I think we should do it. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Just for the fun of it. Pun? <laughs> oh, I want to kiss. I don't... I don't, what, are you trying to, like, you're trying to corner me? Like, because then I'll be like, oh, did you see that homophobe on the Dave show? He didn't want to, like, get busy. He didn't want to, he didn't want to get busy with Dave because he hates gay no, I'm people. Not, I'm just saying it's, it's, it's the internet. Mm. So, 
we can do that sort of stuff. No, fair enough. We won't. We won't. Um, we won't. We won't kiss. Um, John, thank you very much for joining me on the no, show. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Can you, if this, if this gets up like in a proper network, can you invite me back so it's not like I wasn't because you know Adam Hills. Yes. When he was doing like his pilot before it got picked up for in uh, Gordon Street tonight, he's like, "Oh, John, can you come? John, we'd love you. You're such a big. Oh, John, John, John." So I turn up to this stinking like shed basically to film his like his pilot yeah. for in Gordon Street. Yeah. yeah, so that's all fine. I do that, whatever. And then his show comes on. No, nah, no phone call. Did, did your no, segment, no. did it even go on air? No, no, no. Like, I, I was good enough for the pilot, but, you know, obviously I wasn't good enough. And he's been on that no. show for, like, four years. No good. Not one No phone good. Call. No good. I'll tell you what. What? This is going to be uploaded to the internet. Yeah! I, will not, I will not do that to you. I will not do that to you. It will go, and uh, we stick around. We're doing a cooking segment. We've got a brand new segment. It's an all new look show. Yeah. An all new look segment. We stick around, cool. ladies and gentlemen. How good is John Safran? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I am uh, joined here with my uh, very good friend James Curley. Big round of applause for James Curley, yeah. and of course, yeah. John Safran. What a great sport! Now, a bit of a background uh, story. Me and James, we used to work at uh, Nickelodeon together. Uh, and then we moved on, we did a show on Channel V where we did a segment called Kettle and a Toaster uh, Cooking and I loved it so much I wanted to bring James back here into the shed to do his segment for us. It's pretty exciting Dave, of course we're doing uh, Kettle and an Iron tonight, expanding the idea and there's some legal issues around uh, the other one as well. So we're so I see some eggs, some muffins, a little bit of ham. What are you cooking for us? One of the greatest be breakfast treats on the planet, Eggs Benedict. <laughs> Two things you'll find in every hotel, the kettle and the iron. So we'll get started with you, John. If you want to iron up yep. some muffins. Sure. Iron the line. Iron like. up the line. That's what we call it in the biz. Oh. All right. So what are you doing now? Just wilting some spinach. What setting do you put the iron on? Uh, cotton? Cotton. Yeah, not wool. It's the only way. Yeah, boost that up. Okay, that's... Is yeah. that on? Yeah. Uh, so, obviously, with an eggs benedict, you need a hollandaise sauce. Is that burning your hand? Oh, it's burning. <laughs> <laughs> you, need an, uh, you need a hollandaise sauce. Mm. Uh, That's coming. Do you want, you're right. Do you want the tea towel? Got to wilt the spinach. And we are... <laughs> that's done. There. So, once that's done, put it in here. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. Simple, it is wow. a simple move, that one. We're going to throw some butter in there. That's actually really clever, you know. Because <laughs> right. I've got like a bamboo steamer, but I burnt it, and this would work just as well. So where does that go? Just plate that one. Yeah, just plate plate him up. Look, I'm getting some brownness yeah, on it yeah, now. He's, he's it's toasting it. Oh, look at that. Okay. Poaching the. Well, what we'll do first, if you can whisk up these uh, three egg yolks, is what you need. Okay. 175 grams of butter Ooh. as well, and for the butter, let's hear it for the butter, and some water and some fresh lemons from Dave's garden there. Yep. Very nice. Unsalted. Unsalted. Good question. Very good question. <laughs> so we'll get them whisked up. So that's whisked up. Um, so okay. Go. Okay, it's <laughs> very hungry crowd tonight. <laughs> and what's that? Just a touch of water? And just start stirring that stirring that in there, just a uh, tablespoon of water. Give it a whisk, whisk away. Those do you want to show the muffins to the uh, show the muffins to the Yeah, uh, look they're, they're getting brown. So show Where's that, the camera? About a third of the way there. Oh, yeah, show the, show the audience there. Oh. All right, and we'll start just dropping one, one chunk at a time in there. Oh, look at this, this is coming up good. We'll show, we'll show you guys in a second there, but it is working. So, twerps, when you're in, your, in the hotel or motel, this, this, will, this will impress you if you have a guest or a visitor. You will probably need to cook them something in the morning to replenish the, the uh, stores. So just the iron straight onto the ham. Just iron the ham on now. <laughs> oh, listen to that. That's a sizzle. That's a sizzle. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. He burnt himself. More butter. Hold that for a sec. We'll put the eggs in. This is a no. serious. So you put the segment. egg in there. There's one. It's sort of it's wound around the coil down there a bit. We'll get that back. <laughs> we'll get that back. Oh no, that's worked. Do another one. We're using a Teflon iron, which is non-stick, which is perfect nice. for this sort of stuff. Burning that ham. The ham's burning. Oh, John, 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 John! No, it's stuck to the oh, I stuck the ham to the. That's all right. No, it's. That's Chris. No, I'll show you. I'm gonna. I'll show. I'll show. Oh. I'll show you guys what he's done. Great How about that? 
Yeah. So, John, you mentioned in um, you did race around the uh, race around the world. Yes. In 1997. Yeah, not the amazing race. Yeah, now, on. a fun fact about 97 yeah. is the director on our show here... Yeah. Was born? No, he had a mate. Yeah. A friend of his has a friend who moved from Canberra to Melbourne in 1997. Ooh. It's weird, isn't it? It is weird. <laughs> Anyone who doubts the, worst the supernatural? <laughs> It's true. Mm. I'm just wondering what it's anecdotes true. you leave on the cutting room floor. <laughs> <laughs> if that one comes out of your mouth. And keep in mind, I don't I haven't had much experience with ham in uh, up, up until tonight. So <laughs> really? That's yeah. why well, I've got the wilted spinach. We can do a uh, an alternative. So Curls, there's uh, forty seconds on the clock. <laughs> okay, forty final forty. Forty seconds. Here we go. Count it in. Play it up, get ready to play it up, mate. Get the eggs. I haven't checked the eggs yet. 30 seconds. Got that for me. 30 seconds. Here we go. <laughs> 20 seconds. Oh, it worked! It actually worked! It worked! Look at that! Look at that! There's one. One. Look at this. There's one there. There's another one! We could have four eggs out of the Are seven. You You got another one in there? They're tangled in the coil. <laughs> all right, so we can just do three. That's all right. Uh, actually, Vegetarian that's, that's option. That's time, mate. I gave you a bit more time. Look at that. <laughs> Where do you want that? You want to do this? Just, yeah, what we'll do is just a nice. Sure dish. Oh! oh. Wow. That is incredible. Oh, yeah. Taste it. Just like try what? Like minus ham? What? Minus ham? No, ham's fine. That's I good. want to show I'm kind right. of open minded and <laughs> yeah. I'm assimilating to Australia. <laughs> so I'll just join you to cut it. Let's just hey, cut that egg open. Oh, look at that! Dressing. What do you mean dressing? dressing. So you put the basil in the iron with some water, <laughs> get the steam happening, and then. Or you can just spray it straight on. You might need to get that prime the lines there. Give me my man. That's good. That's how it's got a nice basil. Oh. Oh. What's that? What's that? <laughs> Great job! Great job! My pleasure, oh, curls, my pleasure. mate. I think I think this is this is that that looks that looks like a proper uh, eggs Benedict. What would yeah. you pay for that overseas? Probably thirty dollars a serve, a dollar fifty a pop when you're doing it your own uh, style. Yeah. John, Andy. not bad. No, it's yeah. great, terrific. John, will you stick around for the band? Yes, yes, yes. Mate, I'll get you a good seat. Stick around. If you're at work, press pause. If your boss is looming over your shoulder, what do you put in up an Excel spreadsheet? over yeah. the video Pull and then the and then come back to that a little bit later because we've got twerps playing and you won't want to miss that. Stick around. <laughs>
great. That was great. Well, that's all we've got time for on the show tonight. I, oh, today, this morning, I have to thank my guests, James Curley, John Saffron, thanks very much for coming and joining me in the shed. And, of course, twerps. How good are that? How good, how good are that? How good are they? How good is that? I uh, well, hope you're having a good morning, uh, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are on the World Wide Web. We'll see you all very soon. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. That was really good. <laughs>